Hello everybody, welcome back to Oscar Buzz, Trevor here joined by Thomas as always, and today we're talking about the latest Kenneth Branagh film, A Haunting in Venice. Um, this is the third installment in his Hercule Poirot saga. Uh, yeah. I think you plan on making more, so I don't know if you can really call it Most a trilogy. Likely, yeah. yeah, But the, the Hercule Poirot things that he's decided to do, uh, which are of varying levels of quality, but this is probably the best one. Like, yeah, I mean, you say varying level. I feel like they're fairly consistent. Yeah, they're all right about the same. But they're yeah. all right about the same. But I would agree. I do think this is possibly the standout of uh, the franchise so far. I mean, this is the only one I'll be like. I knew Murder on Orient Express. I knew that story fairly well. I knew Death and Nile, that story fairly well. This one coming to it blind, and yeah, it's definitely an interesting experience to watch as the sort of mystery unfolds. But yeah, there is stuff to gain from it. Overall, as I said, consistently, like it, it's still it, it's mixed. It's a mixed bag. Yeah, I mean, the the nice thing about this one, so I, I wasn't familiar with any of the films going into it. Uh, I'd never read any Agatha Christie. I'm also not British. Um, yeah. But <laughs> but I, this this one felt like the first time that Kenneth Branagh actually really decided to direct, which was nice. Because in the previous installments, it just felt like it was just kind of there and it felt very like autopilot. Um, and this one, it's actually it's actually fun. Do all the choices work? No, not necessarily, but there's there's some interesting motivation to the lighting. There's some interesting so like shot selection. It isn't just, you know, shot reverse shot. There's some interesting inserts. There's some interesting like constructive editing rather than everything just being linear. Like uh I I, I don't know. Like it 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 actually felt like there was a filmmaker behind the camera working within the genre and having fun with playing with the genre conventions rather than just, you know, it being like the genre and not playing around with it at all yeah i mean you say some of the choices didn't work and i think a lot of that is due to a lot of the choices probably didn't feel very motivated so at some points i was like why are we doing a dutch angle is it just because you wanted to do a dutch angle and yes that is pretty much but it does show that brandon was just having fun doing some creative things yeah, there was just, even some like, like wes anderson type shots i guess would be the way to describe with like essentially framing especially in the early part with the hercule poirot mm -hmm. stuff which i thought was interesting and a surprise i wasn't expecting and then there was also some very good sort of, I think the editing definitely helped to build the tone uh, in the second and sort of towards the end. Uh, I definitely think the editing was a major part of why it worked and why attention yeah, the the tension works. Was, be able, like, it was able to be created. So, yeah. And I do think that this is a clear cut case of the directing is quite strong. The screenplay itself is quite weak. I do have a lot of problems with the screenplay. Most of my problems with this film do come in, come from that angle, not yeah. from the director. I do think Brown, as you say, Try like he he was having fun with it, which I yeah he's having fun and he's also just a competent filmmaker who's just yeah. like you know playing around and it's and it's the the type of film where like the director's obviously like playing around and not doing like the normal stuff but they're just like a competent solid filmmaker so it never strays like so far to the point where it gets like fully like experimental or anything like yeah, that yeah um it just still is just like it it operates within like a safe level of playing around with genre uh and as you say the screenplay isn't something special but like were we ever like expecting that necessarily from this like no potentially not no potentially not. but it's, i do think there are quite glaring problems so i do think a lot of the dialogue, uh, yeah the characters don't of, exist the characters yeah. simply just are, are there to serve the mystery yeah but... characters are only characterized in the scene in which they are important like each character gets yeah. a scene to be important but that is the only time we'd learn anything about them or they really even have any distinguishing features a lot of them just sort of blend into one and it does get a bit confusing at times with oh who actually are you in oh yeah do you oh, yeah and I, I was a little bit lost yeah, the yeah but the yeah. exposition i thought was terrible <laughs> at points when it especially with the oh i'm a mystery writer i wrote 30 books but the last three were the critics and like like what, what there must have been a clever way of doing that there must have been a slightly more subtle way of doing that than just shoehorning sure. exposition in but yeah so the dialogue is not great the characterization is not great but i do think this is a film that you really just have to sort of sit back and just absorb in the atmosphere of it and i think that is the only way that you'll get this sort of experience that you want to yeah, I mean, this is this is very much so like a just turn your brain off and have fun, which normally yeah. I don't think is uh, always a good thing because you should be watching movies with your brain. Like it, it's yeah. if if you have to, you know, turn your brain off to like <laughs> enjoy the film, it probably means that yeah. the film isn't very good. But I think with some things you can allow it if like it, it feels like it's it's actually being made by a filmmaker, I guess. Yeah. 
And yeah. to me, it feels like this is like it, it's it's actually being made by a filmmaker. And is the screenplay perfect? No, but like really, what what did we want out of this film? Like just yeah. a fun murder mystery that would do fun genre stuff. And it and, delivers those highs. It definitely yeah. the mystery aspect of it. I think is actually fairly decent. I think it's a fairly decently constructed mystery. How much of that is just from the Agatha Christie novel? I don't know. I haven't read it. As said, um, but yeah, I think the way that it plays out, the points you get, the reveals, it's do it. It's not doing anything groundbreaking. You know exactly. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the big reveal moment. Cool. Glad we got that. But right. like, it, it delivers it. it. It delivers it in a way that is is satisfying. As it's a person who just likes murder mysteries in general, like you know, it's not playing around with genre in the same way that like Knives Out is. I think they're just far superior films, and that is the way that sure. like that's just a superior way of telling murder mysteries. But equally, perfectly serviceable and per and delivers a satisfying enough mystery. So, yeah, no, I I, I 100% agree. Like, I I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised by this because I really really wasn't expecting this especially after how much of a disaster death on denial was like i just i really didn't enjoy that film at all um yeah. this was a pleasant surprise it, it was it was really truly a pleasant surprise um as far as a rating i'm feeling like a six out of ten actually yeah i mean it's towards that sort of five six range i think i'll be generous and give it a six because i think all of the films like i'd, I'd give probably death on our five murder and stress i might even give six but this would be around the six range as well so like yep. yeah it's a decent enough time it's a decent enough time absolutely absolutely um as far as awards this is not going to be contending for oscars no like i think some of the guilds could maybe get something like I, normally you would say like adg could happen for these but like it's it's like one room yeah, <laughs> yeah. but equally it's a very well it's a very nicely put together room like there, there is stuff there to i guess appreciate and to honor should they choose to um so as far as the previous film so death on the nile really didn't get anything uh, it just got a, a ves for like uh supporting visual effects yeah. um so not much there the first film uh got a adg for a period production design um it got costume designers guild for a, a period costume design it got critics choice for production design uh, and it got like a couple of uh, random critics awards um, for like costumes and, you know, uh, production design and things like that. Um, as far as this one, uh, so I believe this is the most positively received. It's, it's definitely more than Death on the Nile. And it's yeah. also a late season release, whereas Death on the Nile was like February. Yeah. Um, do we think that this can get like a, a CDG or ADG? Honestly, I think it'll be sort of smack bang in the middle of, like, I don't think it'll perform as well as Murder on Orange Express. I don't think it'll perform as badly as Death on the Nile. It's not going to get, like, Critics' right Choice there. or anything. Exactly. I think it'll just be right there in the middle. It'll pick up some. Some ceremonies go for it. Some others will just think, well, we've probably seen this before, which I think is fair enough. Like, this isn't something that needs to be on it. It's something it could be. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, if I were to predict it for anything, probably, like, I think Costume Designer Guild for period is probably a stronger shout, followed up by yeah. um, Art Directors Guild uh, for period as well. But I think that that's everything that we have to say about Haunting in Venice. Uh, it's fun. You know, watch it. Yeah. If, like, if you think you're going to like it, you'll probably like it. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. If, if you like mysteries. um, So that is it. Uh, you can go and support the SAG and WJ strikes in the links in the description. In addition to following us on social media, if that is something you're interested in, um, you can uh, stick around if you'd like for more videos, more reviews, more awards coverage, more predictions for the Oscars, the Emmys, the Grammys, all of the fun things. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.